What's up? I know y'all was probably expecting a hair tutorial, but at this point, y'all gonna get what y'all got. It's gonna be a mukbang car edition. I'm sitting in my car. I ain't gotta worry about no tow truck coming because I own it. Um, I went to Dollar. You probably wondering how I'm, how I'm finna eat these crab legs and stuff up in the car. How you gonna do a mukbang in the car? Don't you gotta have? I got that. I got that. Okay. I went and got this so I can put my crab legs on. And I went and got this so I can spread out, which is a tablecloth, so I can spread out over the car so I won't get over my car and stuff. So, you know, ask me, did I get gloves? No, I did not get gloves this time. I got a good old dishcloth. And then like a good old dishcloth, you just wipe your hand off with. And last but not least, mm, Sunny D. Sunny D. Ooh, Sunny O.D. This Oh, slap me a mother. Ooh, shut up, Osita. Okay, I had to push myself to do this damn video because, listen, being down, not doing nothing, and you ain't pursuing nothing. So I just had to go push myself to do this video, at least do a little something. If you ain't gonna do nothing, do a little something. So I'm gonna do a little something. But I'm okay, though. Now, I know y'all probably wondering how the hell I get on this Jazz Springer show. Now, it was one of my Facebook friends back in, I think it was 2018. Um, they made a post. It was like, anybody trying to get on Jazz Springer show? And I was like, who? I come in. Tell them, yeah. So I got the inbox and stuff. And then she hooked me up with the lady and stuff. One of the producers, I guess. At the time, me and my ex. We was the two that was going on now. And we needed two more people. But we didn't have two more people. Um, well, I didn't have two more people to go on now. Cause I'm like, who the fuck finna go on there with me? I ain't had nobody to go on there with me. So, she ended up finding two people, which was the two people y'all seen. And I seen a lot of questions and folks asking how much they paid doing shit. And, let me tell y'all something. When I went, they make you sign a contract. Now, in this contract, you can't disclose what goes on up in there, like such and such as is the story is true or not, or, you know, blase, blase. And, you know, I signed that contract because obviously I was on the show. So, um, therefore, I can't say too much because they ain't finna sue the last pad draws that I got up off of me. Like, I ain't got nothing to give. And I don't even got time to go to court to sit up here and try to get on my last pad draws. So, I'm just gonna talk between the lines. And you get me. Like, I know how it go. But basically, when you get there, they ask you your background story and ask you personal stuff. You know me. Hmm? We're not thinking Like, put our business out there. Not that stupid. <laughs> I'm not going to put our business out there. Basically, they ask you your personal relationship problems and stuff. We basically didn't have nothing to give them. So, therefore, you know, we came up with a plan. <laughs> we came up with a plan. So, when we came up with that plan, that's the plan we stuck to. So we ran by each other. We ran a plan by each other. Now, when we ran that plan by each other, we had to stick to that plan. So they had flew us out to um to New York. What what, what part was it? The part y'all know the part that's over there by where they film at. We had flew to the New York airport. So um when we got there, we got to the building. Now when we got to this building. It was me, 
and a whole lot of other motherfuckers, first of all. So it was us. And basically, they welcome you, talk to you and stuff. Hold up, let me back up. They give you, um, they gave us free gift cards and stuff to go eat, go to the movies and stuff. They paid for our hotel rooms. They paid for the flight. Basically, we had to come out of pocket for nothing, and they paid us money. So, um, when we got there, they introduced themselves. We introduced ourselves. Basically, they asked you personal stuff, like, did you ever cheat, or how did you feel? Basically, personal problems. Now, we was go we was filming in sections. We was filming in sections. So the first group go film, then the second group go film at this time. While everybody was filming, everybody got to split up. And while everybody split up, they try to get each person like... Look, basically, before the actual, before we actually start going to film, they separate everybody, and we be in separate rooms. We was in separate rooms. I don't know what went on in everybody else's room, but what went on in my room was I just had to get my story together. If you know what I'm saying, I had to get my story together because for one. This story. Basically, I had to get my story together because one bitch, this story was new to me. I ain't never heard of this story. And it was a new dream I had. So, and I had to remember what this dream was when I got on stage. So, by the time it was time for us to go out, at this point, I'm like nervous as hell because. I'm like, I don't know how my story finna go for real, for real, because my story, this is like a new dream to me. I don't, this story, I don't even know. I just, I, I, I was nervous when I got out there because I just didn't know my story. I, that, this story was so, so new to me that every situation that happened was so new to me that I damn near said, cut it. Like, hold on, now, what happened at this point and who came out in the bathroom and said, what? Like, boom, there you go. Who came out first? Of course, it was, um, it was the first two females on the show came out first. Then, of course, it was me. And then, it was my ex. Now, when my ex came out, I don't know if y'all remember this part, oh. but I remember it because I damn near said cut and pop, pop, boop, pop, boop, big ass dead back because the slap was kind of hard. Now, do you hear me? That slap was kind of hard, and I damn near said, "Cut, hold on." They said, "Hold on." Now read what you what, read. Where you wrote that at? With what to, with what type of force? No, I don't, I, don't, I don't remember that. So um, I took that. I took I took that little slap. I took that little slap. At this point, I'm like, "Damn, what the fuck did I do for real?" Like at this point, like, damn, did you find some shit out in real life? Yeah, she damn near slapped my social security number backwards. She slapped my ancestors clean alive. Do you hear me? That slap was harder than y'all think. That slap was kind of hard. I damn, ooh, I feel dead. I took, I had to take that one. Now, after that, when I got the fame, I damn near thought that was for real. Like, hold on now. I'm like, it's something child ain't telling me. Like, I was shocked myself. And then, when we got, when they got done, we went to the back. Nails bleeding and shit. I'm like, damn, was y'all punching for real? 
Like I read it, and then the people in the back, they they thought they was for real too when they got the plane. It might it might not have looked as real on 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 camera, but in person, they was low key um, hitting each other. Like they was hitting each other. I don't know. My like, damn, it's something that y'all y'all got some hostility built up with something the child ain't told me about. Like y'all should have warned me. Then I would have told y'all now. After we filmed this stuff. We went to the hotel. Now we didn't do as much as we were supposed to be did when we went out there. To be honest, I don't remember a lot that happened because we it actually was filmed previously and they dropped it like a year later. Like a year over a year later. Like I had moved to Georgia and all that. And they had just not dropped it. I'm like, okay, now they wanna drop it out of, out of nowhere. To answer your question. Some people don't have to go out there and remember their dream. If you know what I'm saying. That's how people do. They ain't go to the bathroom with nobody. They ain't shit on nobody. Don't ask me nothing this about that ghetto shit. It was fun though. Fun fact though, I like corn now. Only from Juicy Crab. So, hopefully I answered y'all question good enough. Hopefully I gave y'all enough information because I couldn't give y'all too much. Due to the fact, just in case people do follow their guidelines and they tell us, I'm going to dodge it. Just in case. Because I ain't got just in case money. Nah. I will be back with another hair video. Beginning next week. Um, Sorry to keep you guys waiting. But behind all this Coming and stuff, I'm very spiritual. And when I be feeling like I'm not feeling like myself, I have to isolate. I have to, I have to, you know, I have to find myself. Because one thing I can't do is lose myself now. I just can't do that. So then you get to feeling empty and stuff. And I ain't got the time. No, nobody got time to feel like that. So um, I will be back. And yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I feel like my energy was so off in this video. Like, <laughs> my energy was too off. I just know it is because um, I just want to fit in it. But um, I'll be back with another hair video beginning next week, Monday. Um, I will have a story time. With story time, I don't know. So I'm not going to promise a story time, but I will have another hair video with my great energy that y'all love. Because I love my energy too. And I don't be liking when it be down, neither hell. But, that, you know, at this point, I'm saying I can do is try to keep going. Well, I ain't no try. I'm going to keep going, obviously, because I I had to... I, yeah, I don't understand. I had to push myself to make this video. I really did. But, um... I'll be back with another video Monday, maybe even sooner. Y'all be blessed. I love you guys.